an official statement from Mrs. Camille O'Cosby concerning the prosecution's use of falsified evidence. The right to a fair trial is of utmost importance in the American justice system. Prosecutors, as administrators of justice, have a responsibility to protect the innocent and are prohibited from offering any evidence that is untrue. We have now learned and will prove that Bill Cosby was denied his right to a fair trial because the DA of Montgomery County, Kevin Steele, used falsified evidence against him. After being tipped off by a recent online publication that a tape recording Mr. Steele played during trial was doctored, Mr. Cosby retained a forensic expert to conduct an audio authenticity analysis of the recording. Gianna Constan, the mother of Andrea Constan, had, had surreptitiously and illegally made the recording of Mr. Cosby in 2005 without his knowledge or consent. That recording was provided to Bruce Castor while he was DA of Montgomery County. Mr. Castor determined that Deanna Constance's surreptitious recording constituted a potential felony under Pennsylvania's law, which required Ms. Constance to obtain Mr. Cosby's consent to the recording. Years later, in 2014, Kevin Steele beat Mr. Castor for DA by unethically attacking him for not prosecuting my husband. He thereafter used the illegal recording in both trials, claiming that it was an authentic recording of the 2005 conversation. Mr. Steele relied heavily on the recording in both trials, ultimately convincing the jury in the second trial to return a verdict of guilty. Earlier this month, on September 12, 2018, an online publication reported that a Montgomery County Court official who, request, who requested anonymity had revealed that the original recording made by Gianna Constan was doctored and contained information that would exonerate Mr. Cosby. The defense team immediately sent its copy of the recording to a forensic expert who, after extensive analysis, has unequivoc unequivocally concluded, quote, this is not a true representation of the original content or conversation. Without question, this is not an authentic recording, end quote. At no time before or during the trial did the DA disclose that the recording was inauthentic, much less that it had been falsified. After the media report surfaced on September 12th, Montgomery County detectives acknowledged and confirmed to the defense team that they could not authenticate the recording and did not know who made the original recording. Mr. Cosby's defense team will be filing a motion seeking immediate relief for the prosecution's use of this falsified evidence. The DA's use of this falsified audio clip at trial is deeply prejudicial, yet it represents just one of many issues that resulted in the denial of Mr. Cosby's right to a fair trial. These egregious injustices must be corrected.